Have you ever felt you're your own worst enemy? Sometimes, how we treat ourselves can be more damaging than how others treat us. Life is not always about staying away from toxic people. Sometimes, we need to look in the mirror and recognize when we're being toxic to ourselves. Are you ready to look inward for the sake of your happiness and inner peace? Here are 8 signs to watch out for. Endless Apologies Over-apologizing is often a way people avoid conflict or seek approval. For example, you could be in a team meeting where you share an idea and immediately apologize, fearing that you might have inconvenienced others or that your idea isn't good enough. This constant self-blame can wear down your self-esteem and confidence and make you feel unworthy of being heard. Constantly apologizing is like having an automatic sorry button. It is unhealthy. It can indicate that you undervalue yourself and take on unnecessary blame. Not only that, behaviors like this may make you a prime target for manipulators and selfish people who are looking for a scapegoat. Trust that your ideas are valuable and your voice matters just as much as anyone else's. Staying in toxic company. Do you have friends or partners who put you down, make you feel small, or take advantage of you? Staying in relationships where you are treated poorly can be a sign of low self-worth. Imagine a partner who always criticizes your choices or a friend who only contacts you when they need something. If you continue spending time with them because you think you don't deserve better, you're being toxic to yourself. One-sided relationships only drain your energy and diminish your self-esteem. Surround yourself with people who lift you up, not drag you down. Phantom phone checks. Are you always checking your phone? Anxiously waiting for messages that never come? It's easy to fall into the trap of measuring your worth by online attention, but true self-worth comes from within. Instead of refreshing your inbox for messages, focus on building a sense of value that doesn't rely on others. Like and subscribe for more. Oversensitivity to criticism. Taking criticism too personally can show a lack of confidence in yourself. This means you see feedback as a judgment of your worth rather than a chance to improve. For example, if your boss gives feedback and you feel devastated all day, or a friend's comment about your appearance leaves you insecure, it's a sign you're being too hard on yourself. Remember, criticism usually addresses actions, not your value as a person. By separating yourself from the feedback and focusing on the constructive aspects, you cultivate a healthier relationship with criticism. Reflect on feedback and use it as a tool for self-improvement, rather than a source of validation or rejection. This approach will help you grow and build confidence in your abilities, but if the criticism given wasn't constructive but rather meant to erode your self-esteem, perhaps due to their own insecurities, envy, or overall bitterness, in that case, it is important to recognize that as well and distance yourself from people who don't have good intentions. Love and believe in yourself enough to walk away from people who bring you down. Self-gaslighting. Self-gaslighting or harsh self-criticism often comes from internalizing a negative, abusive voice from a parent or someone influential in your life. For example, you might think, I'm probably being too sensitive when someone disrespects you, dismissing your valid feelings. Or tell yourself, I'm imagining things when your intuition senses something wrong. This critical voice might have protected you from rejection as a child, but now it only tears you down. Instead, try developing an empowering inner voice that supports you. The goal isn't to stop being self-critical, but to make it constructive. Focus on curiosity rather than judgment. This way, you validate rather than invalidate your underlying needs. The Comparison Trap Comparison is the thief of joy. It sets you up for constant disappointment, making you feel inadequate and unhappy. You might scroll through Instagram and feel envious of a friend's vacation photos, questioning why your life isn't as exciting, or hear about a colleague's promotion and feel like a failure, even though you've achieved many of your own goals. Everyone's journey is unique, so don't compare your behind the scenes to someone else's highlight reel. Sleeping as escapism Using sleep as a way to escape from your problems is harmful. This happens when you go to bed early or take naps not because you're genuinely tired, but because you want to avoid dealing with the stress and difficulties in your life. While getting enough rest is important for your health, relying on sleep to avoid your problems can actually make things worse. Instead, try healthier coping strategies like setting a smart action plan. Be specific. Clearly define the problem you want to solve. Make it measurable. Set goals you can track. Make sure your goal is achievable. Ensure it is relevant and aligns with your needs. 
Finally, set a time limit, a deadline to keep you on track. And remember, it's perfectly okay to seek support when you need it. Agreeing to everything. Always agreeing with others to avoid conflict can mean you're suppressing your true self. For instance, you might agree to a friend's plan you don't like just to avoid upsetting them. This can make you resentful and lose your own identity. Additionally, research shows that this people-pleasing behavior might actually be a fawn trauma response, which is a maladaptive way people create safety in relationships by prioritizing others' needs over their own to maintain safety and avoid conflict and rejection. Remember, expressing your opinions and standing up for what you believe in is important. I hope this video helped you recognize some of the ways we can be toxic to ourselves. It takes a lot of courage to look inward and face these behaviors, but doing so is a powerful step towards self-improvement and healing. Remember, you are deserving of love, respect, and happiness. These signs are not a measure of your worth, they're simply areas where you can grow and become kinder to yourself. If any of these points resonated with you, know that you're not alone. Many of us struggle with these same issues, and sharing our experiences can be incredibly therapeutic. Have you noticed any of these signs in your own life? Let us know in the comments. Want to learn more? Check out this insightful video, Six Signs You're Unintentionally Toxic, Not Malicious.